Hello, I'm Amy Zabe with the Jerusalem Connection Red Alert Report for Wednesday, February 12th. What are some indicators? Before I start my report today, I just want to give a shout out to the family of Kirk Douglas. Kirk Douglas was a very famous American actor who passed away last week at the age of 103. He was a practicing Jew and a proud supporter of Israel and he demonstrated that not only by giving millions of his personal money to organizations that supported the state of Israel and Zionism, but also in his choice of movie roles, including some early films that were uh, filmed on site in Israel with his help when Israel was still a very young nation. Thank you, Mr. Douglas, for all your hard work, and we are sorry you are gone, and we pray for your family that they will have comfort in this difficult time. Now, what's going on in Austria? Some good news, actually. The lower house of parliament unanimously signed a resolution to bring to a vote in January, which I'm still searching for the results on. I believe the re uh, vote may have been delayed to pass a bill in both houses of parliament that would oppose BDS measures and limit the state from doing any activity, per uh, allowing them to uh, organizations that participate in BDS to use any kind of state funds or facilities for their um, activities. BDS, of course, is boycott, divest, and sanction, and it is an anti-Semitic movement to penalize the nation state of Israel and also Jews worldwide. What's interesting is that all five political parties in this lower house of parliament unanimously agreed to bring the resolution to a vote. And these five parties include the far right freedom group, freedom group, all the way to the far left social uh, democratic party. And this is just a really good bit of news because in America we only have two parties and we very rarely see them agree on anything. The National Council, the lower house of parliament, strongly condemns all form of anti-Semitism. And this is a quote released by the organization, including any anti-Israel related anti-Semitism. As the proposal reads, um, it is to combat anti-Semitism and strongly condemn the BDS movement and its goals, in particular the call for a boycott of Israeli products, companies, artists, scientists, or athletes. And indeed it will include not providing any premises or infrastructure that, to organizations that express themselves in these anti-Semitic terms or question Israel's right to exist. The resolution is expected to pass. However, the Palestinian civil society has been on a huge campaign contacting parliament members, urging them to vote against the measure, uh, saying that in, it infringes on their freedom of speech. So we will continue to pray for that Austrian parliament that they will pass that resolution and limit the activities that BDS organizations can be involved in, both with state funds and state uh, resources, including locations. You may have heard something called an indicating canary. Um, in the mining communities in the United States, an old-fashioned practice used to be that they would send canaries down into the mines with the miners, and if there was any poisonous or noxious gases that would ultimately hurt the people, the canaries would feel it first, and it would be a warning to the miners to head out. Well, in France, we've reported on the uptick of uh, any Jewish activities, even though the Jews have lived in France for centuries. In a recent poll, 73% of the French public as a whole and 72% of Jews considered anti-Semitism a real problem affecting all of France society. In an article by Ilana Chernik back in January 21st, just a few weeks ago, there was a widening consensus reported. Um, and it was released, this survey was released by the AJC, the American Jewish Committee. The survey found that 47% of the general public and 67% of the Jewish respondents said the level of anti-Semitism is very high. As well, Anne-Sophie Sabon Bekash, director of the ACG in, uh, AJC in Paris, she has said, quote, anti-Semitism has become a concern for French society as a whole. It is not considered anymore the concern of just Jews. She went on to say, we are not alone as we could have felt in the past to fight this scourge. And the survey goes on to explain that 70% of French Jews also commented that they have been victims of anti-Semitic instances at least once in their lifetime, 64% saying they suffered from a verbal abuse at least once, and 23 saying that they were a target of a physically violent um, incident on at least one occasion. 
10% of these responding Jews said that they had been re attacked physically more than once. It is also pointed out that the 18 to 24 year old age group were on the front line of this brunt of anti-Semitic anti anti attacks, um, more so than their older uh, compatriots. 84% of the younger generation had suffered at least one anti-Semitic act. 79% said they had suffered from a verbal abusive encounter, and these are up from the population age group as a whole. These are very disturbing statistics and should not be tolerated in a first world country such as France. While we are seeing progress in governmental agencies in Europe, sometimes the, it is not trickling down to the people living on the streets in the society. Oftentimes, governments are reacting to situations in the society, and that's when they legislate. But it is a well-known saying that you can't legislate morality. Hitting a group of people in any type or form because of their identity is simply immoral. The self-proclaimed progressive Europeans need to take a hard look in the mirror. They cannot blame anti-Semitism solely on the fascist leanings of a minority who had had power over 80 years ago. They must face their own intolerances and decide to be the people who claim to regret the history of 80 years ago. Of course, Christians, particularly Christian Zionists and Jews, particularly Zionist Jews, are the least tolerated folks, I think, on the planet right now. And the leaders of this intolerance are the ones who claim to be the most tolerant progressives. And they have aligned themselves with Islamists who bring to the table centuries of intolerance. My point here is that we must continue to share the truth and expose the lies and the hate of every political and philosophical faction that acts immorally, especially those who claim to, claim to be the most moral themselves. Christians have been accused for centuries upon centuries of being hypocrites or hypocritical, and in some cases these accusations are valid. But let us now concentrate on the reality of the Judeo-Christian moral code and the people who follow it, or at least attempt in their best um, efforts to follow it. And this means shunning all of hate in all corners of the world and exposing it. Shavua Tov, and have a great week.